Hi guys, it's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I am hoping that you guys can see me on this and be hopping on. Let me um, see if I can see get some people in here and do some invites. Let me see. So, welcome back. It's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha coming at you guys live. Hello, hello, hello. Um, for those of you who are in the workshop, what I'm going to do is let me see if I can get you over there. Let me see. So, I've just got a couple of you. Hopefully, you guys can share this out. Hey, Mary. Hey, Heather. Hey, Bonnie. Looks like a lot of you are jumping on. Hey. Katie, Carolyn, Vicki, Brenda. Hey, Vicki, if you'll take this link and drop it over in the workshop there in case people show up over there, then they'll be there. Vicki is my BFF and cohort. Um, Catherine, hello, hello. You guys, hey, Mary, hey, Vicki, Jennifer. So you guys are all hopping on. It is wonderful to be back. Um, I hope you guys like the white backdrop, you know, trying to change it up a little bit so you guys can see the difference. Week one is the black one. Week two is the white backdrop. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to open up, first of all, and get a little bit of a hey, Pat, and get you guys to kind of give me a little information. So, um, hey, William, while people are jumping on, I want you guys, um, since your first week, for those of you who were here last week, I want to hear how your week went what your challenges are, how you're feeling about things, kind of what's going on since last week. Maybe you've got a question. So I'm going to let you guys do that while people are popping on. This week we did it actually from the event. This week we're going to do it from my page, and then we're going to share this link over in the workshop. All the information that you need is in the workshop. I print, um, I have all the documents there if you want to print those out in order to reference those. Hey, Loretta. Hey, Miriam. Hey, Sheila. And they are good for you to reference. We, um, I suggest creating a binder. So um, if you have all that from last week, you should be good to go. Hopping on, I'm going to give you a little motivation. This is my mom, her before, and, well, she's not even after. She's actually smaller than that now. This is my daughter. She just posted some new ones. This is when she first started, and she's way better even now. These are all, like, at four months, so it's time for new pictures. There's my dad, my whole family. Yay. Um, this was me, and I'm a size smaller than this now. These pants won't even fit me anymore, so yay. So um, just a little motivation of this is why we are doing this. Um, Mary, I can't get my protein low enough and always above my fats. Good, good thing. We are talking about macros today. Before we get into macros, I want to remind you guys the health benefits of drinking water. It improves your metabolism, especially if you drink it cold. Drink water, whether you like to or not. If you need to throw some of the little flavoring thing in there, that's fine. It's going to decrease your cravings. Sometimes you're just thirsty. You think you're hungry and actually you're just thirsty. The other thing that I do is I like Zevia. Um, I'm not really promoting this for anybody other than myself and whoever likes it. I like the ginger ale one, the Coke one. They got lots of flavors. Um, it flushes toxins from the body. If you're not drinking enough, uh, toxins build up in your body. So you need to make sure that you're getting enough in there drinking healthier skin and complexion. And um, you just feel better all the way around. So um, that is a good thing. Oh, let's see. Hey, Christina. Hey, Leila Pella. Nini loves you. So, hey, Sheree, let's see. You've been drinking a lot of water this week. Absolutely good job, Chelsea, Jennifer. Okay, so water is a good, good thing. You want to make sure that you do that. The other thing that we talked about last week are SMART goals. If any of you, drop me a one. If you actually sat down and filled out your worksheet and put your SMART goals in, drop me some ones. I want to see some ones. If you have not filled this out, I strongly suggest that you go into uh, the workshop itself and get these this information. If you did not get this before, you need to get it now. Get your hands a hold of this. They are specific, measurable, attainable, uh, realistic, and time-bound. So specific, a specific goal is to enroll and attend every week at the keto workshop that is free. All I have to do is invest some time. Um, you can measure it by seeing, okay, did I show up every week? Attainable, can you show up every week? If you don't show up, then what can you do? You can watch the replay. Realistic, is it realistic that you could do this one night a week? Time bound, and you're doing the program for 12 weeks. What could you get accomplished if you meet just that one goal? 
So it's just goal setting. And sometimes when you write those goals down, it makes a world of difference. So maybe your goal is to lose, um, to be go down a size in your, in your clothes. You know, that's specific, measurable. Yes, it's a size. You can measure it by getting a smaller size pair of pants attainable. Can you do that in 12 weeks? Absolutely. Realistic, most definitely realistic, time bound, 12 weeks. So this workshop is absolutely gonna be smart for you. If you work it, it will yield results, guys. I know that this seems really, really um, difficult, but I believe that it can be done. Um, I'm bringing you guys all this information, and the only thing you need to do is show up every week, um, take whatever I give you, and apply it the next week. You are not going to learn everything keto in one week or one day. You can send me all these messages, and I love all of you, and several of you don't get, don't get your feelings hurt, but y'all are sending me messages like, I can't do this, I can't do that. I promise you, it will happen. It will happen. Follow, just show up. Show up for 12 weeks. Do what I ask you to do, and it will happen. I promise you. So we talked about goals. We talked about the pictures. Um, shares. We are at 29 people. That is fantastic. Um, however, we want to affect as many people as we can. And how many other people do you think like you who are sitting in a keto group or maybe sitting in your, your camping group or your boating group or whatever group that you're a member of um, and could get some value out of this? Share it out to your groups, guys. Um, Nadine, where to get one from? Um, I... Whenever you guys do questions, it's delayed a lot of times. So when you say where to get one, you mean the, the smart um, stuff. All these printouts are in the actual event. So the event was tied to this post. So when we're all done, go to the event. There's a link to print everything that I'm showing you guys. Everything. So I went to UPS store and just had them print it all out for me, nice and color and all that good stuff. Um, so share these out, not just to your page, to your page too, but share them out to groups and tag a friend. It's always good to have an accountability friend. Um, this is the workshop, Debbie, you are in it. Thank you for sharing, Christina. Hey, Becky. Um, this is the workshop. You're in it. I am here every Tuesday, 9 p.m. I post the, I'm going to post the lives in the workshop. It's an event. It's tied to the bottom of this post that you actually entered in to this. Um, the post that got you here is the post that's going to take you also to that event. I also have a new YouTube channel. Yay! Y'all throw me some hearts for my new YouTube channel. I'm so excited. So if you guys will share my excitement in that and share my YouTube channel out, I have like 56. Thanks, Loretta, for sharing out to the groups. I have like 56 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, again, the link for the YouTube is in the top. All right. So there's also a video. It's um, in the workshop. It's a campfire video. And basically, it shows how your body burns fuel. How your body, oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. How your body um, burns up carbohydrates, glucose. Look at y'all. Y'all are just awesome. Glucose um, and all that good stuff. So um, that is a good video for you guys to watch. It's like less than three minutes. So I just wanted to refer you guys to that. Um, so I asked several of you to download the carb. Um, I love y'all. Look at all those hearts. Y'all are fantastic. Um, download an app called carb manager. So what I did is I actually downloaded that myself so that we would be all on the same page. Now I use a different app, so I wanted to have the exact same experience as you guys. So what I'm going to do right now, I've downloaded it. Now I'm just going to open it. All right. So we're going to open it up and just let it sit on your phone because we're going to come to that. Also in this post, you saw me copy and paste um, some ingredients. We're going to use those as well. So hang on to that. Um, macros. Drop me a two below. Macros absolutely positively. You're welcome, Debbie. Absolutely positively confuse and confound and just make you want to go, what is a macro? What am I doing? So I'm sure I'm going to see like a ton of twos dropping about now. Yay, Becky found me. So give me some twos of macros, confuse and confound. We are going to shed some light on those macros that are just driving you absolutely batty. There you go. Tabitha seeing it. Absolutely. So um, those macros can be very confusing. And I'm going to pretty much dumb all this down and show you guys how to do this. Because um, last week, since then, you're kind of, oh, yeah, I see lots of twos, lots of twos, lots of twos. So, yeah, that's probably the most difficult thing to figure out 
whenever you're starting this. So let's talk about macros and let's see where we're going to go with these. All right. So, um, y'all, I got a little one in the background. It's kind of sick. So we're going to just kind of do this around that. So let's talk about macros and I'm just going to pull this little page here. Oh, I wrote, I printed my label out. Let's just pull this little page here and I'm going to show you something just a little bit different than what you normally have. Um, and I'm not real good at, at, at pie charts. Okay. So you basically are going to have a chart that looks like this. So let's open card manager. I'm going to put my email address, get started. So it's asking for my email address and my password. Oh, I'm going to skip this step because you don't have to have it. So I hit skip this step. This is going to be one of the hands-on lessons that we've got. So um, now it says getting started. So I'm going to show you guys. We have the app right here at the beginning getting started so we're going to go to the basic setup and the first thing that you'll see is carbs to track if you hit the drop down it's going to say net carbs total carbs diabetes carbs what we're going to look for is net carbs and that was the first thing i thought is how am i supposed to track this thing so with these percentages what you want to have is you want to have anywhere um for your body to be in a state of ketosis and the state of ketosis is actually what's going to burn the fat Okay, so that's the difference in fat loss and weight loss. It's burning the fat. So um, we're going to track net carbs. So we're going to write that down. And then track all macros. Why not? Let's leave it on. Track calories. Yes, you want to track calories. Um units you want to pick US and energy units, calories. You can pick your username. Um, all right, so uh, now the next thing that it pulls up, you guys follow me on this, you got it? The next thing it's going to pull up is it's going to ask you to create your profile. Now, this is not for just any old reason. You're going to put your, your uh, stuff in here. So it wants to know how old am I, the year I was born. And so we're going to put, I'm going to tell you, 1970. That's how old I am. Your height, so I'm 5'10". Your current weight, I'm not telling y'all that on live. <laughs> um, we'll just put sedentary. Uh, <clears throat> Ava. She likes to get attention um, like that. You weren't tracking calories. Okay, so let me tell you guys about calories. We're going to stop right there. That's an excellent question, Heather. Katie, just don't worry about dinner. Uh, well, I've got 45 minutes here. Um, anyway, so let's talk about calories. So for calories, the, the way that you lose fat is you, act, you have to have a calorie deficit. So if you don't have a calorie deficit and you're just eating all the calories that you want, you're not going to lose the weight. So that's why, that's why you're having a, a difficult time there. So uh, 1970, Kimber, yes. So you need to make sure that you are tracking your calories because this is not something that you could just go endless amounts of calories, okay? Um, now, it's, uh, it's coming up now. I want you guys to see this. It's saying... It, it's asking for protein, net carbs, protein, fat. It's asking me, all right? So it's saying, what are my, it says set your goals. So it's giving me the option of this many calories, 2153. All right, so let's go to weekly weight change goal. Now let's be realistic because we want our, our goals to be realistic. So the weekly weight change goal realistically, let's pick that at 1.5 pounds. Let's just be, you know, conservative there. So we'll pick it at one and a half pounds. So that changed. Do you see that went from 1800 to a thousand calories? 
all right so let's change it to one pound a week all right so then you see the chat calories have changed to 1300 so depending on how much calories you eat um, yeah you got to go tracking for the first month I would say how many calories you eat um, and then from the calories it's going to calculate your macros so I'm just going to say lose a pound a week because I'm not all in a hurry. I didn't get here overnight, and I'm not looking to have a resolution overnight. I'm looking to do this the healthy way. So um, carbs, protein, fat, the ratio that I'm going to use, it lets you pick different ratios, see? So I'm going to use the 525-70, all right? Now, if you are athletic, um, you might can do more than that. Let's see. But 525, that's 5% carbs, 25% protein, 70% fat. All right. Now, whenever I put that in there, it tells me I need 17 net carbs, 83 protein, and 103 fat. All right. Well, let's play with that a little bit because you can play with it. Okay. So say I want to do, you can make it custom. But for right now, let's just leave it at that. Um, uh oh let's go back in um sorry my granddaughter has been sick and she is just um all kinds of into there all right so we've set it at that and it automatically came in so now the first thing that it brings up is it brings up an empty pie chart and it says 30 net grams 30 total carbs fiber fat protein it shows you what your goals are all right so let's see net calories all right, so 130 grams of protein. All this seems kind of high for me. So let's say, hmm, let's go back. I think I hit a button and it kind of messed me up here. Let's see, in depth. Now I know there's a way to change this. But anyway, you get my drifts because I'm not going to use this one. So let's go here and let's do some meals, all right? So say we've already got it downloaded. Let's enter in a meal. How do we do that? We're going to hit breakfast. Well, let's see. Okay. So you hit plus. Now, when you hit plus, it's going to give you ideas for dinner. Okay. So you guys remember how I said we don't need a meal plan? Absolutely do not need a meal plan. You just take what foods you have. Now, I can give you a food list, and that's in the workshop. It's a whole list of foods. Put it on your phone. So let's talk about, let's just go and say ideas for dinner. You can change that also to recently viewed, frequently eaten, and favorites. So you can really change this. You can also do a quick find, my foods, or you can scan them. So let's use the scanner one, all right? So I just ate some pecans. I'm going to allow it to take pictures. All right, so I just ate some pecans. Let's get my barcode. All right, so it scanned the product. Let's see. All right, so it scanned my pecans here. You see that? Now, that looks pretty good. So we've got a pie chart that is one net gram, which is the teeny tiny green. And then we have four total carbs and then 20 grams of fat and three grams of protein. So that's not too bad at all. Okay. So nice little snack. So we can add that one in. We add it to today and then we put in however much we had, blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to save it there. All right. So then you guys had asked me and you said, well, what if we have a recipe? I don't know how to do that. All right, so I, I in the in the workshop I've posted. Um, let's see what it's called. It is called very well fit, and it will calculate. You put all your ingredients in, which is what I have up there, so you can cut and paste that. So let's see. Don't ever doubt that it might be there. So we'll put chicken. Chicken crust pizza. All right, so we'll say keto. There's a keto three cheese supreme chicken crust. So look, 
it's right here keto chicken pizza crust chicken crust pizza so we can pick one of those now is it going to be perfect no but it's going to be close enough all right so then we show the macros for that now this is not the way we want our macros to show because we we're building with each thing so let's we're going to add that all right so you get to the end of the day as the day is going forward well let's see what do i have now this is including both items that i've put in here so here's your progress bar all right and there's your color so you've got two grams of the net carbs you see by this little small slit that's good that's really good and then you've got 36 of 130 grams of protein 35 of 130 grams of fat now you guys ask about these numbers wow how am i going to get all the fats in all the proteins in all the carbs in you don't listen do these are not goals these are um limits so don't think of them as goals. Like I got to get 130 grams of fat in, or I got to get 130 grams of carb uh, protein in, and I got to get, no. These are looked at not as goals, but limits. So that means you don't want to go over 20 or 30 grams of carbs. You don't want to go over, and I would say, depending on what your macros play out to be, that that all those will be based on whatever information you put in your app. Sorry, guys, I got something in the eye whatever information you put in your app. As your day progresses, some days you're gonna do great. It's gonna be spot on. And then other days you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that didn't go so well. But what you do wanna do is you do wanna watch and see, all right, so how many calories was that? So I have one slice of pizza and it'll break it down by item at the bottom. And you know, I just put for dinner. So it's 472 calories. Now, there's some people that only eat one meal a day. That all the macros that you're putting in one of these is based on three meals a day, which you don't have to do. You, there's lots of people that do one meal a day. Um, so as you're putting it in, you're like, okay, I'm at 472 calories. So let's say we had that for, for dinner, but I didn't put my lunch in. Let's go ahead and put lunch in. So I'm going to add my lunch. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to do a search for Hardee's. Um, let's see. Hardee's. Um, let's see. We'll do Hardee's bacon, egg, and cheese no biscuit now let's see if this works well it didn't see it bacon egg and cheese well it only shows with the biscuit so um it's not going to pull one of those up so what i would do is like how do i do that now i don't know how to do it i went to hardy's so let's add it in one piece of bacon so we'll put bacon all right so that's zero carbs wonderful we're going to put one piece of bacon there all right then we're going to add one egg so we'll search again search for egg now I'm, I intentionally did this app brand new so you guys will see there's a learning curve now if I have my own app that I was using and I use LifeSum, but any app is fine just as long as you use one so it brings a drop down there's an egg all right doesn't really matter how it's cooked it's eggs and egg to me all right, so I added my eggs. So say I had bacon and eggs, one piece of bacon and one egg, and then it's added that. So now where am I at? All right, so here we are again. We're good. We're good. You're still good. All right, you're going to get more calories from the fat than you are the protein and the carbs, though. So look at this. Only three net grams, all right? Three net grams. That's not bad. You want to stay between 20 and 50, depending on what your weight goals are. So I've had a total of 600, whoop, let's see what it said, 606 calories, and I've had two meals already. That's not too bad. So before, when you're just counting calories, counting calories, you're really all over the place. The calories are secondary things. So say, let's look at some of the fat content of things. So my pecan halves for one gram, which is a small amount, it's 190 calories. That's a lot of calories. So I don't want to sit and eat this whole bag of pecans. That's that's not you know where we're at. So um, 
<clears throat> you need to make sure of what you're eating and what where you're going with things that you're in the right range. Now, the thing about keto is why do you have to have so much fat? You don't. All right. So when you first start out, your fat that you're using, what what's going on there is that's used to satisfy you. Okay. So if you're hungry, eat something that's got the high fat content. That's what's keeping you from getting hungry. That's what's satisfying you and keeping you going from one meal to the next. Um, now, the other thing that I want to add in there is the other 5%. All right, so 5% carbs, but you want to eat the good vegetables, the low-carb vegetables. So you want to have some lettuce. You want to have some cucumbers. You want to have some broccoli and Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. You want to have those things because if you're just eating meat and cheese, you're going to have some issues for sure in the bathroom, and I'll tell you that straight up. If you don't have magnesium, you're probably going to have some issues. And, guys, when you get, when you get vitamins, this is 250 milligrams. Go ahead and get don't get the the just the little basic 100 one. When you get potassium, get the 550 milligram, not the 99. You want to take these every day. If you don't take these two every day, you're going to have problems. You're just going to have problems. This little bottle of stuff right here is your best friend. Drink it, drink it, drink it. You need to have at least probably mm, what was it? I drink a truck. My goal is eight of these a day. Oh, what if I don't meet my goal? Great. If I got four in. I'm four more better than what I was um, in the end. So let's drink some. How do you know if you're not drinking, sorry, if you're not drinking enough water? <clears throat> you're going to be thirsty, number one. You're going to be hungry, number two. If you use these little ketone strips, you're going to be way down here in the purple color. It's going to be super, super dark, 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 dark. And that's not that you're in this super de duper level of ketosis. That means you need to drink some water because your body's not cleaning the ketones out of your system at all. The only thing you need to accomplish when you first start is the first little notch. That's it. As long as you're here, you're in ketosis. It doesn't really matter about, you know, how, how good you are. I thought the darker, the better. Boy, I'm really, I'm dark purple. I'm doing good. Sorry, that water went right up my nose. Um, but that's not the case. I was just dehydrated. The other thing that I, that I recommend <clears throat> that you start with is biotin, uh, 10,000 micrograms a day. Now, what I got for my hair is a couple things. One of them is this um, keratin hair booster. I love it, love it, love it. I also use keratin treatments on my hair, so keratin is my friend. Um, and keto cream. So let's talk about Bulletproof Coffee, all right? So take your app, and let's. I want you right now, I want everyone to comment below. Um, yay! Comment below um, what you put in your coffee. What do you put in your coffee? You black coffee drinkers, you are on it. That is 100% keto, no grams of carbs. Drink all the coffee that you want. It's awesome. You might want to get some sleep in there, though. But So I'm going to enter mine in. I'm going to tell you. Let's see if mine will scan. Oh, there's no scan on it. Um, so I want to see what you guys put in your bulletproof coffee that you must have. I'm going to tell you all about bulletproof coffee. So whenever, um, you do bulletproof coffee, you might be sabotaging yourself. Let me explain why. All right. So, um, what I was putting in my bulletproof coffee, let's see what you guys put in yours. Black. All right, Mary. Woohoo. All right. Let's see. Sharon collagen, one scoop MCT oil. Um, black cream. Jennifer's got the cream. Cool. I use the keto cream. It's 120 cal 130 calories, 12 grams of fat, um, three grams of carbs, B6, B12, 130 calcium, sodium. It has four different types of collagen and three different types of MCT oil. Now, I want you to take your app and I want you to put yours in there and see what yours comes out to be and what's in yours. Let's see. Collagen, protein powder, MCT oil, butter. There you go. Coconut oil, butter, MCT oil, butter. I don't like coffee. I love to smell it, though. I'm with you, Beverly. I love coffee, though. Little 100% stevia with tiny unsweetened almond milk. Okay, black coffee, MCT oil. Let me tell y'all about the tiny little packets of stevia. I bet some of you don't know this, but some of you do. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, you go to Walmart. 
and you get yourself um, this little pack here of stevia. No calories. Guess what? It has two grams of carbohydrates in it. Yes, two grams of carbohydrates. So, Kimber, you're getting two packets of stevia. Um, so, heavy whipping cream, and you add two packs of stevia. So, you are, if you have one cup of coffee, that's four grams of carbohydrates you just wasted. Four grams. All right. So, guys, we really got to be careful. Um, regular coffee with keto protein, keto collagen, protein, or butter, black. Okay, so let's talk about butter. All right, so I put a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of coconut oil, and a tablespoon or two of heavy whipping cream. That was when I first started. I have since learned that this is my friend. This has good stuff in it. Four types of collagen, not one, four. Three types of MCT oil, so I'm getting MCT oil every single day. My skin is great, and uh, it is super creamy. So those of you who like creamy, creamy coffee, it's wonderful. Perfect keto, collagen, protein powder, and swerve. Okay, so let's talk about what I put in mine. I put, uh, before this, I put a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of coconut oil, and a tablespoon or more of heavy whipping cream. So one cup of that, one cup, guys, was 270 calories. I was drinking two cups a day, all right? So two cups a day is 542 calories. It had 30 grams of fat in one cup, 60 grams of fat in two cups. So I've already, I've already plowed out half of my fats for the day. Um, let's see. Yeah, I know, right? I about wanted to cry, too. Two bags over a week's plus time. That's good, Kimber. That's good. That's real good. Um, so out of all of that, I've got um, up to five grams of carbs just with two cups of coffee. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely having a look at that. So that made me after – it took me six months to realize that there is two grams of, of – of, carbs in stevia because why because i'm telling everyone read labels read labels read labels and i didn't read this label don't assume because it's zero calories that it's zero carbs don't ever make that assumption because you will be wrong um so um bulletproof coffee that is not going to be your friend uh, you need to find something else that works. It doesn't have to be this, but you need to be aware. And if you want the certain things that you're putting in your coffee, you really don't need butter. That's something someone made up because they didn't, weren't getting enough fats in their coffee or what in their diet. You don't have to get that many fats. Yes, you want to have a high amount of fats, but guess what? You're going to get that naturally and normally anyway. What is MCT oil? MCT oil um, is a supplement basically it comes from coconut uh, we use it as a supplement it comes from the coconut and MCT oil is super super good for you I had some sitting right here and I don't know what I did with it it ran away from me um, and what it does is it helps your body to get into ketosis because it increases the fats and it's good for your brain it's good for your heart um, MCT oil is really really good for those who have um, neurological issues and things like that diet pepsi is definitely a no um that's why i drink stevia diet pepsi will um stevia is a great substitute diet pepsi will um can can throw you out of ketosis with the kinds of sweeteners that it has in it so yeah you want to avoid those um yeah stevia may not be stevia all the way diet sodas definitely have the aspartame it's terrible hey karen so um, those are the things that we're looking at there. So we already have covered a whole lot of information, um, showed you guys how to use this app. Um, now let's, let's talk about what's not in the app. Okay. So, um, I can't find it on here. What do I do? Let me see. Mine has an option to change it. Oh, it also has an option up top. See recipes and meal plans. So you can come in here. And you want meal plans and recipes? It's right there, guys. Right there. Look at that. Right there. So go to your app. Your app is your friend. So low-carb chicken, jalapeno chili, keto Alfredo chicken, four grand, and it shows. Whoop. Almost dropped that. It shows all the carbs and the protein and everything right here. All right. See, so that, that is for those of you who want some type of meal plan. Don't go out there and pay money for this stuff. You can get it free. Don't do that at all. All right. So it's going to show you. So if you're saying, wow, okay, so I need um, something that's low fat, low carbs, and got protein. Well, look at this right here. 
Here's a recipe. And what is it? Keto chicken pizza. That's what we're having tonight. All right. So then you say, okay. Um, and there's some people that do keto that do lean and green too. So what can you drink? So Beverly, let's go over. And I'm trying to get your questions in between all this. I drink Zevia. It has several different flavors. You can drink this. You can drink water, water, water. And did I mention, let's drink some water. Water is good, good, good for you. You can also drink unsweet tea and use a sweetener in it. Um, uh, the the premix Kool Aids, um, such as ketones. I love. Just by the way, um, you can make broths and and the water in your broth. So your body is made up of water. It needs water, water, water. Uh, let's see. Where do you get Zevia? I get mine from. Uh, I think uh, Bilo and. Uh, Whole Foods has it. Uh, Amazon Prime has it. Food Lion. I don't know what you've got locally. Yes, MCT oil is good, good, good for you. Uh, I'd answered that one. Do you use cream in your coffee and the MCT oil both every day? You know, that's a really good question, Mary. Um, the MCT oil is good for brain function. So I use it probably a few times a week. I'm not, I don't necessarily drink it every day, but. I don't necessarily even do the cream every day, but I get them at several times a week. So it's all in what you feel like. Sometimes you might not feel like having that cup of coffee. You might just want to grab some MCT oil. Um, found it at Target. Okay, so Heather found Zevia at Target. The app, Katarina, is Carb Manager. Carb Manager It's a free app. I just downloaded it, so everything I'm looking at here, all of that is free. I haven't paid for a thing. I downloaded it here, right here with you guys. Hey, Louisiana. All right, and let's see. What is the recipe app? It's all right here, Carb, Carb Manager. So all I did, for those of you who didn't see that, um, I'm going to scroll back up. If you look, there is a there is a, a space right here. You can go across, all right? So it starts with search, and then I just scrolled it across. So when you scroll across, it says recipes and meal plan. You click that, and then let's see you can make a quick entry let's see what a quick entry is so yes quick entry that's where you say okay I went now you remember you guys I was telling you about the the recipe calculator so you go and you get like the list of ingredients that I gave you you go to the recipe calorie nutrition you cut and paste your recipe into that on that web page okay once you cut and paste it on that web page, it will give you all the nutritional, it'll even give you a nutritional label. So then you take that label and you enter it in here because more than likely if you liked it enough to put it in here, you're going to want to eat it again. So we're making a chicken pizza, so we're going to put that in here. Y'all please say prayer for my daughter. She's getting a little, little offhanded because my granddaughter is not feeling too well. All right, see, uh, meal plan. Okay, so I don't, I'm not going to buy any meal plans, guys. It's going to be right here on this app. Um, so you do your quick entry. You add it in there, and it's going to be in there for every time you want. Oh, you're so welcome, Robin. Get Zevia from Albertsons. Okay, all right, so I think I've caught up on all the questions there for that part. We're doing good for time, guys. And I had some other things planned for tonight, but I really feel like understanding how to track is really important. So, Mary, you had mentioned to me earlier and said, well, I'm not getting this or I'm not, I'm, I'm going over this or I'm going, it's not to be perfect, okay, because I don't even use an app anymore, all right? This app, in my opinion, I do, um, when I first started, I thought, oh boy, I'm strict keto, woo, I'm strict keto, guys, look at me go, right? Yeah, just because you use the app does not make you strict keto at all. So, um, what I did learn is it, um, it, it'll make you realize real quick when you go in some of these strict keto, uh, groups and yeah, they'll tell you real quick, like, uh-uh, that is not a keto food. Uh-uh, that's got wheat in it. Uh-uh. Well, I'm counting carbs. I'm not looking at the ingredients, although I know, you know, and there's people that drink diet Pepsi. I just say it's not good to drink it because I was able to kick the habit. So I encourage you to do so. But if you're doing keto and you've got to have a diet Pepsi, then by all means, please drink your diet Pepsi until you can come up with a plan to kick that habit. Beverly, the app that I turned on for this session tonight was Carb Manager. I'm giving it a definite two thumbs up. I've never used it before, and I'm finding all this stuff in it. Um, 
Articles. Okay, so Kimber said there's some interesting info under articles in the link on the Carb app. I learned a lot today watching the videos. Awesome. Awesome. Good tip. Um, so, hey, hey, Marie. So, this the purpose of this workshop, too, is to be able to come together to share, to share our questions, to share our solutions, to share everything that we have going on. So, um, low-carb Philly cheesesteak. I just saw that being cooked today. Oh, my gosh. That's good. Um, so you can come in here and look at these recipes that are pre-done for you and find yourself some dinner. I'm actually very impressed with this app. So um, I think we covered all the macros. What, what, or do you feel a little bit better? Drop me a three if you feel better for macros. Yes, it does calculate your macros whenever it does. Don't follow recipes. That's okay, Becca. You don't have to do it perfect. If you get close in this, if you just get close, because I'm, like I said, I'm lazy keto. I'm not strict keto. I'm lazy, dirty keto. So that means that instead of me coming in here, shucking these uh, pecans by myself, I'm buying them pre-shucked. Well, you're not strict keto if you're buying these pre-shucked. Shredded cheese. It has potato starch in it. I don't care. I'm going to eat that extra carb. It's okay. Um, so your big thing is, is you need to get a good variety. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this and getting some value out of it. That's awesome. Now, sorry, my nose is just itching. I got some of that uh, pecan dust in my nose earlier. <laughs> it went everywhere. All right, so we have the app and I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here in this app. So it lets you do snacks. It also lets you enter in your supplements. Now let's see. Um, I know in life some, uh, there is, Oh, okay. So let's do this. If you come here and you click this little button right there, all right, so you see it says foods, exercise, your measurements. Please take your measurements. Take your measurements and take pictures. Super important because if I didn't have pictures, I wouldn't be able to show you guys anything of my progress. Um, it has a community analysis. It does have a diet plan, but I wouldn't subscribe to that um, unless it's free. So you can go premium. I don't know what premium does for me, but I think this is a pretty good app. It's absolutely free, so I'm loving it. Um, hopefully next week you guys will feel so much better about where you're at. Um, you might be feeling a little discouraged today and feel like, well, you know, I just, I, I can't do this. It's, it's overwhelming. It's, it's depressing. I've only lost a pound and a half. Guess what guys, you gain this weight at probably a much faster rate, I'm sure. However, it did take some time to put it on. So it's going to take some time to put it off. We are not in there just for weight loss. We're in this for fat loss, for changing the lifestyle, for getting a grip on it. I want you guys to drop me a four below. And this is, this is getting real. Give me a four if you're an emotional eater. I need, I'm, I'm about to see a lot of fours. I have a feeling. Because we don't end up where we're at sometimes just by poor nutrition, we end up that way. Oh, you, you're good, Beverly. We're all just starting over every day. And we end up where we're at because we do tend to emotionally eat. Now, I can't fix that for you. But what you can do with that is you can show up every week and you can say, you know what? I'm doing a good thing. I'm showing up every week. And so many people, I see those fours coming. So many people out there are just um, overwhelmed and get down. You know what, Becky? Some people just can't track at all, and that's okay. If, it, if you just get a piece of paper and you say, okay, carbs. If you do nothing else and you say, okay, I'm going to eat these pecans, it's got one gram of carb. You do a tick. You say, okay, I'm going to eat this low-carb wrap. It's got three carbs, and the cheese is one carb. That's five carbs, okay? Five carbs. So if, if that, you've got to simplify it to make it work for you. After I, ca I tracked for a month, I kind of knew where I was at. Now, I probably eat between 30 and 40 grams of carbs a day, okay? Because I'm not going to track it because that would just drive me insane. I'm too much of a perfectionist. And then if it doesn't work out just right, I'm ready to just give up. So I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up this lifestyle. I'm not giving up 
my nice new face. I'm not giving up um, the the feeling of my clothes getting smaller. I mean, I'm getting smaller in my clothes and my clothes are, are going out the door to Goodwill. Um, I'm not giving all of those good things up because I can't get an app perfect. Okay. So don't worry about doing it perfect. Just do it. Okay. So, you know, today I'm going to pick keto foods. You don't have to pick it perfect. This is all confusing. Like, look at all these sugars. Look at all these. I want to show you guys something today. I went I went to Food Lion and as I walked in there I thought, okay, I'm going to I'm going to show my friend how to get a few things. I want y'all to look at this, all right? This is an aisle. Nothing but sugar things. Another sugar things. All this is nothing all the, this is a whole another end cap. All those are sugar products. Now, let's talk about these. Um, some of them have aspartame. You just, it's overwhelming. So you're like, oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? Read your labels. Read your labels. Find the natural ones. And the agave, that's like, I don't know, 10 grams of carbs. This uh, co coconut palm, whatever, pure cane sugar, organic, just because it says organic, uh, no. Sweet and low, no. Uh, none of the pink packs, none of the blue packs. Get either Splenda or Stevia to start. You can always research yourself and find out all about erythritol and, and what it does. Stevia drops, zero. Zero. All right? So right there, stevia drops. They're super easy to get. You can give them no name brand. Erythritol, zero. Truvia, zero. All right? Regular diet sodas. Let's see. Regular diet sodas are zero. But they have aspartame in them. Uh, Splenda has uh, sucralose, dextrose, equal, and the glycemic. All right, so look how the glycemic index changes. This is a zero glycemic index. This is 11. Splend is 11. Xylitol is 15. Um, equal is 11. And sweet and low is 11. So it's affecting your sugar levels. All right, white sugar is 100. So you're better, even if you're just doing Splenda and, and Stevia, you're doing better than if you were if you did sugar. So better is good. Better is way better than perfect. But perfect might be getting erythritol and Stevia drops. That's what I have, and that's what I'm using. Now you'll hear different debates over what's good, what's not. We are going to talk more about MCT oils. It's, a, it's overwhelming. It's a lot of information, but for right now, don't overwhelm yourself with it. If you want a simple way to do your coffee, message me right now. I can get you a, five, a three pack of, of creams for a good deal, and you can try that out for your coffee. If you're lagging in energy or, or you're feeling faint or you're feeling nauseous or, or any kind of goofiness like that, you probably have keto flu, which means you haven't taken anything like this. If your hair is falling out and you are going bald in the shower, you are not taking biotin. There is a solution for everything. If you're really just struggling losing weight, guess what? A vitamin D deficiency will keep you from losing weight. So there's so much. And then um, exogenous ketones. That is what I use. That is what I love. But I'm going to tell you about them. I'm going to tell you that that absolutely keeps me going. It gives me caffeine. It gives me energy. It gives me focus. It gives me mental clarity. It gives me fat loss. Um, does that mean I can go out and I can get three bucks of fried chicken from KFC and then drink one of these suckers and it's a magical juice that's going to make me? No, absolutely not. But they will help me with my everyday health. They help me to stay on my plan. They help me to not uh, to curb my appetite, to increase my energy, to increase my focus. They do wonderful and amazing things. If you're interested in any of those, please message me now. If we're not friends, click on my face. Let's become friends and get you set up. This class is absolutely free. You have to do the work. I'll give you the info. However, um, I will share things like this that I have available and, you know, just ignore it if you don't like it. For those, uh, there's several of you that do like it and, and do subscribe to it. But I, I teach things in a way that you can understand them, you can benefit from them, but you are not required or obli don't feel obligated at all to, su to subscribe to any product, even Zevia, that I recommend. You have to pick what you want. And I do want to show you this one, too. This is the one I had earlier. This is the cola one, and this one is the ginger ale. I'm real big about showing products, both those that I sell and those that I don't. Fisher is not going to give me any money off of showing you these pecan halves, but you can get a whole bag for like uh, 15 17 bucks. 
So I buy them in bulk. I use them to make crust for cheesecake. I use them for snacks. I use them for just about everything. Slim Fast Keto Bombs. Okay, so let's talk about the Slim Fast stuff. We talked last week. If you haven't watched the video from last week, go watch it. So you're going to have, you're going to see now more than ever, a ton of products that are marked keto, that are, are low carb. You need to read that label because I checked them out. I did a live on it on my Facebook, went to Walmart. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm seeing more and more of these end caps of things. I am not going to waste my carbohydrates on it. It's not full of anything that's really going to benefit me. I am better off to make my own little cheesecake dish thing at home and eat that. If I were on the go and I really needed something sweet, I probably would do that rather than eat a candy bar. But yeah, I, I don't recommend those at all. Um, let's see. Fruit is really good. Monk fruit, monk fruit. There we go. Monk fruit is really good. Now, the thing you have to be careful about with monk fruit is you have to get a pure blend. Otherwise, it's blended with sugar. So you have that's the only caution I've heard. But I do have some monk fruit in my cabinet, and I absolutely love it. The erythritol actually looks and feels like sh real sugar, though. That's kind of impressive. I use that for baking a lot. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Julie. Hello from Illinois. Uh, keto drinks more than once a day. Yes. Um, if I could drink three of them a day, if I could, if I could make that happen, but I get so busy and, and so tied up and stuff that I don't, but I would definitely would drink three a day without a doubt. Um, drinking at least one will improve your life tremendously. Um, oh no, Kimber, you're good. You're good. Um, and I'll send you some information on that Kimber and what the difference is between them. <laughs> Mary is a ketone junkie. Now she's like, what have y'all done to me? Y'all have introduced me to some stuff that I love. You don't get hungry. Today you ate at 5 p.m. finally, but you weren't hungry either. Yes, that's the thing. And eat when you're hungry and don't when you're not. So if you're not hungry, don't eat. It's fine. That is not a bad thing. You don't have to eat. The ginger root beer. Yes, it's good. Rather. Let's see. What brand of monk fruit do you use? I don't know. It's a red. What brand is that monk fruit? Do we have monk fruit up there still, Kate? I don't know. I want to say some, it says something in the raw. Hand me this pasta too. Eh. Um, so yeah, monk fruit is pretty good. Um, let me see what brand I use. The erythritol I order off of Amazon. A lot of my stuff I order off Amazon. I do order the bagels off of there, but I'm going to do it. If you guys have not been to my YouTube channel, please go check it out because my bread recipe is out there and I want to make it go viral. I am so excited. Y'all please show some love on my YouTube channel. Um, in the raw. Let me see it. Uh, okay. So this is in the raw is the monk fruit. And I haven't read this label zero calorie sweetener. Let's read the label. Let's see. So this is a uh, maltodextrin and monk fruit extract. Less than a half a gram of carbs. So this also has carbs in it. But, you know, it does have little sugar cookie recipes and things like that. My son makes um, chocolate chip cookies. My daughter is making right now, like, um, cheese danish. If you want an amazing dessert, cheese danish is bomb. Now, you might say, how many, how many carbs are in that? Or what are the macros in that? I'm not going to be able to tell you. Um, this is a monk fruit, Jennifer. <laughs> monk fruit is actually a fruit, I believe, that it um, has naturally. Um, I'm not going to be able to tell you. If you want to track it, you have to get the app out or get the website that I told you about and just calculate it up. Um, you bought it from Amazon. Yeah, I think I might have bought mine from Amazon, too. Um, I did a comparison of Lily and sugar-free um, Hershey's. Uh, from what I understand, Lily's better because it uses erythritol, but um, Hershey's is better because Lily's has soy in it. So there's lots of reasons to do lots of different things. If you do have some sort of issue with cancer or some medical thing that you want to do strict keto for, it's super beneficial. So it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. If, you, if you're not hungry, don't eat. Um, your body will tell you when you're hungry. But I will tell you this, Becky, if you don't have enough calories then you're going to have a deficit. You're going to have a, an issue, your energy. So um, you need to probably eat one, at least one meal a day. A lot of people do one meal a day. So if you're just not getting hungry, just do something light, one meal a day. Listen to your body, though. Your body will actually tell you what you're craving. There's times that I just have to have some shrimp, and that's not by accident. Your body is telling your brain 
We need some fish. We need some shellfish. We need, we need, we need something. It will naturally crave what you need and, and make you want to seek after that stuff. Your body will naturally tell you when you're thirsty. Now, I could not drink this and keep on talking and I'm going to be okay. But just that one drink, just that one drink. Look, that much, I've taken what, two sips. So look at the progress. So, all right, so we've had that much gone. We got this much more to go. You can drink one bottle down as soon as you get up. Drink it cold. It increases your metabolism. Yeah, Hershey's sugar-free is okay. Yeah. And see, um, the thing about it is, it's all okay. All right, so you're not going to go to uh, be a prisoner of uh, the keto institution if you drink a Diet Coke. You know, it's not good to do that, but, you know, do what you can do. You guys are just starting out or you wouldn't be here. So, or, or you're, you're just learning some things that you didn't know before, but you are improving every single day. You're showing up. When you show up, you're going to have progress. So all you have to do, guys, is show up. Show up if for nothing else to get yourself some motivation to say, okay, I showed up this week. And next week, she's going to ask me how I did. So am I going to be able to say I was a superstar? Next week, when she says, how many ounces of water did you drink a day? I'm going to be able to say 128. Um, when she says, um, have you used your app this week? Um, how many, what, what are your percentages looking like? And they don't have to be perfect. Just do one more step towards success. And every week, I'm going to probably share some of the same things because sometimes you don't get something the first time. No sugar-free candy. Um, it's just not worth it. Like one, what do you call them? Um, the little real, Russell. no, the real harshment, Altoids. One of those Altoids is two grams of carbs, guys. It's, or no, three of them is two grams of carbs. And you're not going to just eat one of them, but I'm not going to give up my carbs for a piece of sugar-free candy. Uh, you're probably experiencing a little bit of, bad breath by now. That's okay. That will pass. You're not going to have bad breath for life. That's one of the things I wondered. If you're having issues in the in the bathroom, magnesium, magnesium, magnesium. Um, you can also make what's called soul water. If you're interested in finding out about the soul water, then comment soul below. If you want to be in a group that is not a keto police group, has tons of recipes, tons of support, tons of tips and tricks, then I will get you in. I will send you an invitation. But in order to send you an invitation, we have to be friends. So friend me and then follow that friend request with either a comment below that says group or um, um, a direct message that says group. If you are interested in exogenous ketones or the cream, definitely give me a message. I also have the broth. I use these as a meal replacement sometimes and love it. French onion, my favorite. Um, so if you want more information there, share my YouTube. Yay. Um, we're going to talk more about next week. I'm going to ask you what kind of foods you found on your app. So I want you to try and be an app user. At least, even if you don't finish the day out, start the next day fresh. Even if you don't finish the day, just go in there and learn something. Even if you only use the recipes, use the app a little bit just to get to know. Let's see. Hey, Janice. Um, we're here every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a standing. This is number two of 12. I don't know if I'm going to do it again, so show up. The replay will be put in um, the link in the event, and I'll change the date for the event. Um, cold water. Heather, drink your water cold. When you drink your water cold, it, um, uh, it increases your metabolism. Um, let's see. My head's been killing me for two days. Two days probably, Lisa. You probably are missing some vitamins. You will get headaches. So let's see what it says. Let's look at our paperwork that we got last week and see what deficiencies we have. I'm going to go over that really quick. If I can find it. Sodium, is that what it is? Oh, my daughter says she thinks it's the sodium that's the deficiency there. Let's see. So all those papers that I gave you guys, I still haven't made my binder yet. It has been a crazy week. Hold on one second. Plus, i got to show these to you guys. My daughter thinks it is sodium. Let 
Let me see. Huh? There are a couple meal plans if you're interested in those that, you know, I don't charge anything for, but I've got them on the events for you. Okay, signs of mineral deficiencies. This little form right here is in the workshop. All right, so let's see. You've got a headache. Let me look here and see what the headache is. Headache, right there, magnesium. Magnesium, right there. Yep, these are a lot of things that you'll experience. Also, your sodium. Your sodium, pink Himalayan salt is your friend. Put it on everything, everything. These are mineral deficiencies, or could be you might be having the start of keto flu. Solutions to cure them. These are on the event. Look and grab the link. Get these. These are forms of information you can go to. Print them out and get yourself a binder. You will never forget. And maybe you can gift that binder to someone else. Soul water. S O L E. Soul water. Let me uh, see if I can find that and post that for you guys. Uh, let's see. I don't see it, but I'll find it. Um, I'll find it and post it in the um, the little thing for you. Let's see. Can you make homemade Bromboth? Absolutely, Sherry. It's super, super good for you. Um, one more time, can you tell me the supplements that you use in milligrams? Potassium, 550 milligram. Magnesium, 250 milligram. And this is a day. Take them in the morning. Biotin, 10,000 micrograms. Two of these in the morning. Um, I also take vitamin D because I had a vitamin D deficiency. For those of you who don't know, I had gastric bypass. So um, I have to make sure I take my vitamins. And, um, and then I get my MCT oil. I don't take that every single day, though. Just kind of depends on, on how I'm feeling. But I do get it. If I don't get it in this, I, I do get it in my cream. Collagen is in my cream. Um, oh, and I also take the Keratin Hair Booster. Um, two of those a day. Some of you who are missing a um, the onion soup. Yes, French onion soup. Love, love, love it. If you're interested in that, it's a broth that I use. It's good for skin, muscle, and detox. Supports healthy. It's gut friendly. Superfood. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, just message me if you're interested in any of those products. The any of those little sachets. The app is so easy. She's been using it every day, all week. Yay! Let's all give Kimber a hand. Woo! Throw her some hearts, guys. Cream. What paper? So I'm assuming if you guys are commenting, cream. I'm not sure if y'all are using that or you want information on it. If you want information on it, the best way to get it right away is send me a message. Becky, the paperwork, if you'll go and when we're done, click on the link for the workshop. Kimber, yay. Click on the link for the workshop and you will see, um, it says click here for files and all of these are inside the workshop, every one of them. What about probiotics? I don't use them, Robin. I don't really, I don't, I'm not educated on them because I don't, I don't need them. So I didn't research those. Oh, thanks, Katarina. Oh, yes. Uh, my daughter wants to show you guys. If you're feeling lightheaded, Beverly, that let's go to our thing. Let's see. Lightheaded is right here. I just saw it. Feeling dizzy. Potassium. Look at that. Potassium right here. Now, you probably went out and bought 99 milligrams of potassium. If you're taking potassium, make sure that the cheapest one on the shelf is 99 milligrams. This is 550 milligrams. All right, so we went over just a little bit. I want to get these last. All the links, Nancy, are going to be in the workshop. When you're done, look at this actual post, and you'll see the, the, uh, the link attached. Keto flu, you may, you may very well have that, Amy. The soul water, uh, let me write down that. I'll post the soul water. It's S-O-L-E. There's a whole website, web link, but you basically, Katie, can you hand me that salt water? I'll show you mine, and I'll, I'll take a sip of it every now and again. Um, it's really strong, though, so you take a container. You could take this um, and do one-third cup. I mean, my salt water out of the door. It's that glass jar. One-third um, pink Himalayan salt and then two-thirds water in the door at the bottom. Yep. Oh, don't do, yeah, okay, so she shook it up, but before she shook it up, all this was clear water, so you could see, and once, once, see that at the bottom, that's the salt, 
once the salt melts all the way, then you want to put more salt in it. So this is super, 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 super salty. Let me warn you ahead of time. So my daughter wants to show you what she cooked for dinner tonight. She is an amazing cook. Oh, I just got salt water all over me. I feel like I've been in the ocean now. It is 10.06. She's also doing my, um, what are they called? Cream cheese Danish. Cream cheese Danish. All right, bring it over here. All right, this is the chicken pizza. So this recipe, actually, I posted in the link, but very, uh, it's also in your app. Remember, we just saw the the dough for this in the app. I want y'all to look at this. Oh, look! Oh my goodness! Look at that, guys! That is see this crust over here. Oh my goodness! Cut me pieces. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I'm expecting hearts to go crazy right now. Awesome, right? Is that not the amazing stuff of the century? Ah, probiotics. Awesome. I, I don't have that issue. So yeah, that's, um, that's a keto pizza. It has chicken crust. She's also got me some cheese Danish. Yeah. There's the hearts, Katie. There's the hearts. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, keto, if you want something, just Google it. Pizza, keto pizza, and you'll get a recipe and check the carbs, and check the carbs my daughter They're said. Really high. Sometimes they are really high. There's a lot of things out there that the carbs are really jumped up on. So before you try any recipe, don't go out there and think that you can have cheese Danish, six and ten of them every day. You can't do that. Don't think you can eat a whole bag of Lily's dark chocolate chocolate chips. Don't think you can eat a whole bag of pecans, guys. We got to be reasonable. Eat when you're hungry. See, when you're starting to do that, you're not hungry. You're just snacking. Grazing throughout the day will sabotage you. Keep it to your meal times. Sometimes intermittent fasting helps. I do a fast once a month. Once a month. I do a 60 hour fast. Me and my daughter, she hates me for it, but loves me too. <laughs> so we do a 60 hour fast once a month. That absolutely helps and it puts you in control. Ha! Huh. All right, guys. So check this out. So there's the bottom. And the bottom is made with Parmesan cheese, almond, and ground chicken. That's it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So if you're if you're missing out on something on keto, it's just a matter of research. That is all. Research, research, research. And I'll do most of it for you. Hey, Christy. Um, <laughs> everyone here loves your recipe. Yes, it is super yum, 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 yum. Aw, that's it, babe. Y'all have a great night. I'm so glad y'all showed up. Show up next Tuesday. Same time, same place. Go into the workshop. Definitely grab some more information. Um, share my YouTube video out. Share this one out, but share it in groups because we want to make a huge impact. You guys help me get my goal. I have a goal of affecting change in 1,000 people this year. I'm doing it one person at a time. There was 40 of you here today. So y'all show me some love. Let's get that YouTube video viral. I want to get viral on YouTube. I have 50 some followers. If you haven't subscribed to me, go subscribe to me on YouTube. I am Keto Gammy, hashtag Marsha, Marsha, Marsha on um, Instagram. And I am super excited. So y'all keep it a lookout. I've got my cooking. Every time I cook during the week, I try and get you guys some good information and help you guys to learn more while I'm cooking. So I enjoy just kind of having some, some time to just enjoy sharing what, it, what products I have and, and how I can help you to keto better. So I try and do a live video every single day and I hope you guys have a great day. And if, um, Oh, oh, and the shares for the YouTube video, um, I'm doing a draw on Sunday. So whoever shares the YouTube video out, um, I, I mean subscribes, whoever subscribes as a member, a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you'll be entered into a three pack of cream. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get an entry because I'm going to take all my subscribers, give them all a big shout out. And I'm going to put them in a drawing for the three pack of cream. So you guys have a blessed night. Thank you so much for watching. I think I got all of you guys. Um, I think I got all of your questions. You are so very welcome. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are absolutely awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Wow. Thanks for sharing guys. Thanks so much. And the link for everything that we talked about today is either going to be in the workshop. There's a food list in the workshop as well. 
or the links. Um, just uh, go check those out. Sorry we ran over a little bit tonight. Y'all have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next Tuesday. Well, actually, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Over and out from Marsha, Marsha, Marsha.